Okay guys, so now it's time for one of the funner parts. Funner is a word now. Oxygenating the beer. So again we have pressurized oxygen. You can get this at a home improvement store, Home Depot, whatever, uh, welding shop as well. It's a reverse thread on these, so you actually turn the other way to tighten it than most threads. And we got it connected to our hose, which is connected to our wand, which has a diffusing stone on the end. And we go ahead and open it up a little bit. You'll see at the bottom here, the oxygen is starting to come out here in a sec. And there we go. So we're just putting pure oxygen in, into the beer. This is what the yeast wants. If you don't have this setup, you can also use um, aeration, which is a, a modified aquarium pump that just pumps oxygen in here to get the bubbles going. Uh, this is pure oxygen though, so it's not medical grade, but it's um, much more pure oxygen than the air they would breathe. So it's really good for the yeast. It only takes you know, a couple minutes, one to two minutes tops of using this at this rate. You just want a nice creamy head on top. It also obviously helps to mix up all the sugars and everything in the wort here. Nice and uniform. And that's a good amount of oxygen there. We'll stop there. Okay. All right, so the next step now is we have oxygen in here. Everything's good to go. We're at 68 degrees, perfect. So now it's time to go ahead and add the yeast, attach uh, the blow-off hose, put it in the fridge, and we're done. Okay guys, now there's just really one step left and that's just to add our yeast. So this is our Hefeweizen yeast for the Weizenbach. We got all the clumps off the bottom. So now it's time to use, a, again, a sanitized funnel. Get these nice and swirled up. Some oxygen in there is good for it as well. Just pour it right down. And so now, again, this is a very active yeast and it does tend to develop a really big head and uh, have some blow off. So we're going to use, because this is a glass carboy, a full one inch blow off tube. So I'm going to take this over to the fridge, get it set up in there, and then show you how we're going to do our blow off assembly.